what's up guys the race here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we are having a look into jomai's k7 smart dash camera which has built-in gps that records the position driving location speed time and trajectory of your car wi-fi connectivity which will enable you to connect with dash camera using your smartphone an application which is available for android as well as for ios users so that means you do not need to take the camera off in case of anything unfortunate happen using your mobile phone you can easily take the footage from your dash camera camera is also equipped with the world's first intelligent reminders which means if you are in a traffic and the traffic light turn into green you will get a voice notification from camera to move forward and many more other notifications too dash camera is also capable to record 1600p at 30 frames per second or you can have a full hd 1080p at a 60 frames per second pretty good actually come with the sony imax 415 front camera sensor which is pretty much clean to be honest with you with the maximum pixel resolution of 8 megapixel dash cam also come with all the typical features like having a g sensor loop recording screen saver and many more now within the video we will be looking into all the features offered by dash camera and its performance as well which will give us an idea that how's the output and is it worth spending your money on this dash cam or not so let's not waste too much of time and straight away jump into where with this camera system you are getting one user manual two windscreen stickers one two usb output port cigarette lighter charger with one impair and 2.1 impair output and I'm sure you will have a better than that available already. 5 meter long micro USB power cable for your dash camera. In last but not least, Jomai's K7 dash camera. Which from the build quality, it's fantastic. And honestly speaking, is going to fit the decor of your car as well. Will look like a part of your car to be honest with you. The whole body around it is a matte finish with the fantastic design texture. In the front of camera, you have a lens, obviously, which is capable to record 1600p with the f of 1.6. Now, over on the other side of the dash camera, you have a 2.0 inch IPS touchscreen display, give you access to words, looking into the live feed, change the dash cam settings as well as get the warnings as well for ADAS controls. Camera mounting bracket is very much solid and also give you a slight amount of maneuverability from the center. Once installed, you can have a maneuverability in terms of going up and down or side by side a little amount. So make sure that you install in as much as possible center of your windscreen to get the better understanding of ADAS control port to power up your dash camera is available on windscreen mount and do not get confused between two ports in here one which is a micro usb that's the charging port another one is the mini usb that's just an spare guys so don't worry about that at all now over on a mounting bracket of dash camera you have a one 3m vhb tape so you have to be sure about it then what position you're going to install your dash camera because this one is very much solid dash camera is also capable to record cabin audio by using the microphone under it and also there is a reset pin to restore the camera to the factory default settings camera does not have any internal storage whatsoever but they have provided micro sd card slot which can go up to 128 gigabyte whereas joe mice have also included 132 gigabyte micro sd card just to give you a kick start to be honest with you now the camera is all set and ready to go in your car simply install it and off you go no need to do anything whatsoever let's power up the camera first time and see what option it offers where first to start with you're going to get a welcome notification and a qr code to add this camera within the application and the app you need is available for android as well as for ios users and it's called high dash cam search and install once the app is installed open up right from there and add your dash camera inside by clicking onto the connect it's going to look into the wi-fi list you're going to see your dash camera available in here simply click on it and type in the password and the password for your device is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero click ok 
and add now once you're connected with your dash camera you need to activate it by changing the password simple is that and click activate and click local now add simple is that that's how easy and straightforward it is high dash camera give you better access of your dash camera in terms of its settings or copying the footages from your dash camera straight on your mobile phone by using the application if you like to take the pictures out of it just simply click onto the photos option here you're going to have a two categories available or normal photos or emergency ones straight away copy them back into your mobile phone or take a live picture actually by click off of one button whatever is on the live feed it will be a photo will be taken or if you'd like to see the playback which are recorded on the dash camera by going in here now as you can see that we just turned on the camera and uh, whatever is recorded by today you can see it with respect to the time lapse available in here you can select the area what you would like to download set it from range to range and click on to the download button you can also set the speed of it or a scalability of it as well simple and straightforward is that now let's suppose i have just gone to the download option in here I'm going to select the range that how much footage you would like to download you set up the range and click onto the download button on duration now accessing the settings of your dash camera using the app is even better as well so you do not need to play on this little display at all you can do it all from the application and the settings are divided very nicely first part which is a video setting second part which is the audio and display settings and third part which is intelligent control and initialization settings very nicely structure now the first part which defines that how video is going to be recorded where you can set the resolution and frames per second camera can go up to 1600p at 30 frames per second max but honestly speaking i was expecting it 60 frames but no need to worry about it i'm going to go with the 1080p at 60 frames per second that is good enough and captures very good detail as well the next option you have is a generation of link i'm not really much bothered about that one but you can have an automatically links created within your sd card if you want to by the day and in a loop recording option for audio recording you can turn it on and off if you want to so as the emergency recording as well and wdr which is pretty good if you're going from a light to a dark it can be you now the picture quality would be nicer with that turned on and the encoding format now this is all to do with the video and i would rather use them all features as well the next one is the audio and the display now this is all to do with the display actually guys now on here you can control the audio output uh like a lady sound which you can hear on the background noisy one you can turn it off if you want to you can also turn off the bootable music i would rather have it being honest with you because when i come into the car i would like to hear that the second one is a standby screen now in here you got an option for live view which i really don't like it at all auto power off pretty good clock is good large clock is good or you can have a customization kind of an option of adding your own picture if you want to display speed you can turn it on or off if you want to i tend to turn it off reason is very simple i do not want it to compromise myself now we are getting down to the intelligent options like a parking monitor you can turn it on and how the sensitivity you want to be have it then you have electronic fencing option which you need to add the fencing actually by using the google actually and you can set the radius where the cam you know you can get the warning and stuff like that uh, intelligent broadcast option which is like if the car in front of you moves you get the notification or the red light changes from red to green you get the notification that's a pretty good option dash camera information if you'd like to update this firmware and stuff like that micro sd card option if you like to format it as well want to click off of one button set the units up as well that are you following metric or imperial language and restore it to factory default setting or if you would like to reboot it too all the options necessary one for you to access the camera on your mobile phone are available and well structured too now accessing the menu on your dash camera is easy and straightforward but 
whenever camera is connected with your mobile phone you will not be able to access the menu on it to access all menus on your dash camera simply touch it first now to turn on and off any option scrolling from top to bottom you're going to see an option for your Wi-Fi connectivity GPS speaker and a microphone but tap of a one button you can turn them on or off if you want to or accessing the old settings by scrolling from bottom to top you're going to have an access for screen resolution format your micro SD card volume control screen saver language control about your dash camera restart or reboot it simple and straightforward is that now to access whatever available on your camera in terms of playback simply scrolling from left to right or right to left you can have it all where you can see your loopback video recording or looking into the horizon which is set on your camera and that you have to set up for the intelligent options to work for sure now as you notice that is how easy and straightforward it is to set all everything on the dash camera itself as well well now you have seen it all how easy it is to access the menu as well as the video footage of this camera using the application or in case of using the dash camera itself now it's time to go ahead and install this camera on our car and look at performance of day and the night recording installing this dash camera on your car is easy and straightforward first thing you gotta do is find a suitable location and wire up all the cables necessary then you need to apply these transparent stickers on your windscreen and for that make sure the windscreen is very much clean and now your dash camera connect your power and make sure that all wires are tucked in now as soon as you get the welcome notification on it adjust the angle now using your application set the horizon the horizon is actually a line between sky and the earth and you can only set this one up when you are on a plain clear road now your camera is up and running enjoy the footage from it
Well, here we are in the end of this video and I try to show each and everything a user should know about this dash camera in very much of detail actually. All the options it offers and the video recording of day and the night time. Now in terms of working, let me summarize it all here for you. The parking assist part works very well. If your camera is turned on for a very long time and nobody is moving inside, it automatically turns into the parking mode. That works fine for me. ADAS system, advanced driving assistance system, I don't see it working at all to be honest with you. That is for my own opinion. Maybe I have done something wrong but it never worked for me for sure. Now recording of day and night it was very much clear i have shown it within this video as well now the good thing which i like the most about this other camera is basically i do not need to take it out to take a footage out of this camera at all what i meant by that is just open up the application connect with it and straight away go down into the playback with respect to days and time you're going to have your all footages available in here along with the gps data too which is like here down below you can go in there if there is any here we go you can see it and you can play the footage as well and you have to use this application actually to know where your car were when the footage was recorded on it and as soon you disconnect your mobile phone from dash camera it automatically start a recording feature works awesome no doubt whatsoever now i hope i have given you all the information you wanted to have for this dash camera but if i missed anything guys let me know in the comment section down below i would be happy to assist now that will be all guys thank you for watching this video shall see you soon into another one bye for now